Most of the big companies, Amazon, Google, PayPal, Facebook, etc., make frequent changes to their setup and layout. So what you're seeing here right now may be different from when you go to set up your account. So pay attention to the specific things that we're doing, not necessarily what the overall site looks like. Okay, so we are here at aws.amazon.com and you can use your personal account and you can come here and log in or you can create a new account. So I'm going to click on create an AWS account. So I'm clicking on I'm a new user and click on sign in using our secure server. Okay, and you'll put your name and you want to do your email address a second time and enter a password and create your account. Okay, and on this page you're going to choose whether you want this to be a company account or a personal account. So enter your full name, country, your address, and you want to check off here that you have read the customer agreement so it would be a good idea to read it and click on create account and continue okay so now it wants you to enter your credit or debit information and if you want to you can read the frequently asked questions fill in your details and continue provide a telephone number and call me now Hello. This is an automated call from Amazon Web Services. Using the touchpad on your phone, please enter the four-digit PIN number that was displayed on your screen. You may also say your PIN one digit at a time. We have successfully verified your PIN. Please return to Amazon Web Services to complete your registration. Thank you for your interest in Amazon Web Services. Goodbye. Okay, so that was completed. Now we'll click on continue to select your support plan. And if you watch, if you look up here, you see that it checks off things as you're going along. Now you can begin with just a basic plan and there are some free services that are included. And we're going to continue with basic. Now, depending on what your level of use, you can read through these and decide whether you need any of these other ones. So we'll click continue. Okay, if, if this is of any use to you, you can come and click on the drop down and go through these and, and fill in the details. Otherwise, you can complete the sign up. Come to the upper right corner and click on complete sign up. So you'll enter your email address and your password and sign in. Okay and that wraps up this tutorial.